Have you ever wondered how to render once, but end up with a lot of light scenarios? Daytime, sunset, night imagery, artificial lights. I'm Ivan and today I'm going to show you how to achieve that with V-Ray and take your workflow to a new level. So let's start. Here we can see a scene based on Princeton Hall residency designed by Speech Architects. At the beginning, it's a good idea to prepare our project to render faster while we are tweaking the scene. Open render settings and make sure that the resolution is not high. Then go to the render elements tab and add V-Ray denoiser. It will clear our image from noise while we are setting the scene. For faster denoising, choose NVIDIA Image Denoiser or Intel Open Image Denoiser. They will denoise the image quicker while the default one is more accurate. Ok, let's close the render settings and see what will be rendered at the current stage of the scene. Right click, V-Ray Frame Buffer and click on the left keypad to initiate interactive render. Nothing will appear because we don't have any lights in the scene. To create the sun, just navigate to the V-Ray toolbar and click on the sun icon. V-Ray will automatically ask if we want to create sky. Click yes. Now we have the first light but it's kind of dark. Let's move the sun vertically and it will lit the scene nicely. If we try with a few sun positions, we can find the right one for our project. Now, to store the sky and use it at the end as an option, we will need to place it into a dome light. Let's create one from V-Ray toolbar. As you can see, we have the light but it's kind of grey. If we click on the settings of it, we will notice that there is no texture in the map swap and the light is using only a core. So let's place the sky in it. Go to the rendering tab and click on the environment. Cut the sky from here and paste it into the map slot of the dome light. Finally, rename the dome light for better organization. Ok, I like the result but the sky is too simple for my taste. To add sky with clouds, navigate to Chaos Cosmos. Choose the Day HDRI category and find the one you like. If it's not downloaded yet, click download. Now drag the sky to the project. You will notice how bright it is. This is because the light from the sun and the sky are contributing to the new light. To fix it, just disable the other lights. Basically, HDRI is a specific image usually 360 degree, that will be wrapped around the whole scene. The intensity and core of the lighting will be based on that image and it will serve as a background as well. Although it may sound too complex, it's very easy to use. In the description below, you will find a link to free HDRI textures. Since we are using an HDRI image, we can rotate it until we like it. To do that, Navigate to the dome light settings and click on lock texture. Now we can horizontally rotate the light until we are satisfied with the result. Finally, you will see that some areas of the image are overexposed. To suppress the bright areas, we can simply add a core correction layer. I will use exposure and bring the second slider to the right. You will notice that this will reduce the contrast as well. To compensate, slightly increase the third slider. Ok, I like that light so I will rename it. Also, before moving to the next light, we can disable that one. Open Cosmos again and this time find the Sunset HDRI. I like that one so I will just drag and drop it. 
As we already know, we can achieve different results with each rotation, but this time I will directly rotate the texture instead of rotating the light. To do that, go ahead and click M. Now, drag the texture from the light to the slate editor. From here, we can control a lot of texture parameters. Let's rotate it, try to horizontally flip it and increase the overall intensity if necessary. Let's rename it and disable the light. We can use Night HDRIs from Cosmos as well, but I will now use a custom one. So let's create another dome light from the V-Ray toolbar and click on the map slot to add the texture. V-Ray will ask to find an HDRI texture on our hard drive. Select the one you downloaded and click Open. Now, just like we did before, we can rotate the texture and increase or decrease the intensity if needed. The last one is a night HDRI, so I will need to add artificial lights. Go to the V-Ray toolbar and click on the V-Ray sphere light. Now, click on the viewport. Hold and drag. You will notice that the sphere is visible as well as its reflection in the pool. For overall interior light, we will need to see only the light from it, but not the actual light source. If we pay attention to the light settings, you will notice that there are options in visible. Enable it and visible in reflections. Disable that one. No doubt this is not the most accurate way to lit interior. It's a good way to create interior lighting as a base and then, if you want, you can add lights in the lamps. Also, keep in mind that if we want to control all of the copied lights, they need to be copied as an instance. In the same way, I have already added some artificial lights. It's time to render the final image, so stop the interactive one. Probably, we will need higher resolution for the final image, so open the render settings Click the aspect ratio and increase the resolution. To have better quality, decrease the noise level from V-Ray tab to 0 0.005. Also, increase the minimum subdivision to 2. I'm using the default progressive render because if I am satisfied with the image quality at some point, I can stop the render, even if it's not finished. There is one last thing to set, the light mix. That render element will combine all the lights we have created automatically. Now, just enable all of the lights in the scene and click render. After a few minutes, let's see the result. You will notice that everything is very bright. That is because we have added a lot of dome lights. Let's double click on the right side of the frame buffer or Ctrl plus L to open the core corrections. Here, if we select the light mix, all the lights will be listed. To show you how it works, I will disable all of them. Enable the blue sky and the sun. Now we have the sun and sky lighting so we can tweak the post and save the image. Then disable the sky. Try with the cloudy sky and decrease the intensity of the sun. Actually, let's leave it to zero. We can fine tune the exposure and save that as another image. I like it. Next is the sunset sky. We can also enable the artificial lights. Again, fine tune the post and try with the blue night sky.
Now that you know how to use multiple dome lights in our workflow, you can render a lot of images at once and make different combinations between them. Let me know in the comments below if that video was helpful for you and what you want me to show you next time. Also, you can subscribe for more content and check my other videos.